Hello, good morning my student. Today our lesson is percentage of a number. Percentage of a number. Firstly, I need to ask you some question using mental math. Okay, and I need to tell you of means times for example question number one half of ten half of ten then it's a half multiply by ten half times ten okay who can tell me half of ten equals what half of ten of equals yes equals five Good. Question number two. Quarter of twelve means quarter times twelve. And you can imagine four and twelve, both of them divisible by four. Yes, quarter of twelve means yes, three. Question number three. Third of twelve. Third of twelve means third multiply twelve. Third multiply twelve equals. Try to think. Yes, four. Four. I think it's easy to answer it mentally. Now, look at the second question. I'll give you some question and to using mental math okay what about number one 24 percent of 44 uh, is it easy to solve it mentally i think it's not easy yes then you can estimate the answer if it's difficult to answer it mentally, so you can estimate the answer. Then, 24% is nearest to 25%. Then, we can replace 24% by 25%. Yes, and 25% equals quarter. Quarter, yes. Then, 25% of 44 means quarter of 44 means equals yes 444 both of them divisible by 4 then 4 divided 4 equal 1 and the 44 divided 4 equal 11 then you can estimate the question question number 2 45 percent of 360 is it easy to get the, the answer mentally I think it's difficult yes it's difficult to answer it mentally so you can estimate the answer 44 45 percent is nearest to 50 percent yes and the 50 percent equal to half then replace 45 percent by 50 percent yes 50% of 360 means half of 360 equals, try to think, yes, 180. Okay, let's go to the third slide. Study this formula for finding the percent of a number rate multiply base equals percentage percentage yes yes r is referred maybe percent or fraction r mean maybe percent or fraction and the base maybe whole amount and percentage is a part of the 
whole amount part of the whole amount and now we have three ways to answer some question here the first question the first type of this question is use the formula and decimal to solve for the variable question number one 30 percent of 60 equals 8 now we need to convert 30 percent to decimal form then 30 percent mean 30 divided by 100 then it's 0 0.30 or 0 0.3 and off replace it by multiply then 0 0.30 multiply by 60 equals try to think yes it's 18 18 good let's go into the second question number 10 number 10 use the formula and and fractions to solve that variable then 40% of 20 equal J now 40% I need to convert it to fraction 4 then 40 percent mean 40 divided by 100 yes then 40 divided by 100 multiplied by 20 try to calculate it eight. I'll give you only yes try to get the answer yes it's eight okay let's going to question number two the first time 50 percent of 32 equal D I need to convert the percent to decimal four 50 percent means yes 50 divided by 100 multiply yes then 50 percent if the decimal form equals 0 0.50 multiply 32 try to answer it yes it's 16 16 then let's go to number 11 60 percent of 60 equals m i need to convert the percentage to the fraction 4 60 percent 60 percent means yes 60 divided by 100 60 divided 100 multiply by 60 try to calculate it yes it's 36 36 30 six we have another we have another type use a proportion to find the percentage of the number question number 19 40 percent of 25 equal dots the dots means the percentage okay let's go to this rule percentage divided by all amount equals rate or the ratio okay now yes B is referred to the percentage divided by 25 is the whole amount equals 40 percent means 40 divided by 100 and now by cross multiplication who can remember me and tell me yes B multiply 100 equals 40 multiply 25 B multiply 100 equals 40 multiply 25 then 100 B equals 1000 100 B equals 1000 I need to simplify both 
then both of them divisible by 100 yes then 100 p divided by 100 equal 1000 divided by 100 and now try to get me that the final answer try to think 100 b divided by 100 then both of them 100 100 divided by 1 equals 1 then the right hand side equals B and 1000 divided by 100 equals 10 then P equals 1 sorry equals 10 equal 10 let's answer another question question number 20 use uh, a proportion to find the percentage of that number 25% of 96 equal dots okay who can remember me yes percent divided by whole amount equal rate then P divided by 96 equals 25 divided by 100 by cross multiplication then P multiply 100 equals 96 multiplied by 25 25 then 100 P equal 2400 2400 I think it's very easy both of them divisible by yes what about 100 and the 2400 both of them divisible by yes divisible by 100 divisible by 100 then 100 P divided by 100 equal 2400 divided by 100 then 100 divided by 100 equals 1 mean B and 2400 divided by 100 equals 24 24 Another question, 21, 80% of 90 equal dots, 80% of 90 equal dots, okay, and then the percentage divided by whole amount, whole amount equals rate or ratio, then P divided by 90 equals 80 divided by 100 then by cross multiplication 100 multiply p equal 90 multiply 80 then 100 b equal 7200 7200 both of them divisible by 100 then 100 b divided by 100 equals 7200 divided by 100 okay who can tell me yes 100 divided by 100 equals 1 it's in p in the right hand side and 7200 divided by 100 equal 72 72 and now we have another type of question is mental math find the percentage of the number if i ask you 150 percent of four we have when I tell you 150% of 4 means 100% of 4 and 50% of 4 then 100% of 4 what does it mean by 100% of 4 100% mean 100 divided by 100 means 1 then 1 multiply 4 equal 4 when I tell when I ask you 100% of 4 equals 4 or if I ask you another question 100% of 7 equals 7 100% of 9 equals 9 and so on because 100% mean 100 divided by 100 means 1 then 100% of 4 equals 4 and 50% of 4 means half of 4 equals 2 then 
150 percent means 4 and 2 4 plus 2 equal 6 question 28 150 percent of 80 150 percent of 80 mentally then 150 percent means 100 percent and 50 percent then 100 percent of 80 means 80 because 100 percent mean 100 divided by 100 means 1 then 1 multiply 80 equals 80 the second is 50 percent of 80 means half of 80 because 50 percent means equals one half then half of 80 equal 40 okay then 80 plus 40 equal 120 now um, your homework on the workbook on page 160 uh, thank you for listening